we have to talk. We have to talk about Samsung and their Galaxy S23 series. And if you're wondering now, no, that's not a Samsung, not a prototype or anything. That's the ZTEX and 40 Alpha. I don't have a Samsung here right now, but uh, as a representative, because it just looks like a Samsung almost. Uh, I took this in my hand. I have to hold something in my hand to present it to you. Let's talk about the S23 series and the launch. We have, I think, two major different kind of views that we can see here. The one is the very exciting YouTube tech bubble, I would say, or the influencer tech bubble that is like very excited about the new S23, especially here in Europe and I think in Africa as well, where we finally get the best Qualcomm chip inside of a Samsung smartphone, which is something that was missed so much in the last couple of years. On the other hand, are the consumers, the the guys that are literally buying those things, financing Samsung, the majority of their sales. And here I see a huge disconnect with this release because we have a big, huge technological yeah, development there. It's not only the 20, the, the, the new Qualcomm chip that is like more powerful, more energy saving and so on. It's a 200 megapixel main sensor. Uh, Technological wise, it's interesting. It's super interesting. Samsung is improving also their software, but it's everything under the hood. And that's the major problem that I see, especially for consumers that are, yeah, buying with their eyes, of course. And if they see the S23, especially the S23 Ultra against the S22 Ultra, they literally say it's the same device. You cannot even distinguish them maybe at the curve of the display, but only if you have them side by side. Otherwise, you have to see them a lot, lot, a lot to maybe able to, able to distinguish them. So a huge problem there, a huge problem marketing-wise also for Samsung. How can you sell a new technological like step forward to consumers that see yeah, the same shell as last year? A big problem. But not only this, I think Samsung is doing a little playing the safe card here. Same as Apple did with the iPhone 14, which is basically an iPhone 13s. And the same goes for Samsung S22 S, I would call it, instead of uh, S23 series. Because the especially uh, there's a slight change in the shell design in the outer in the, the outer shell design of the S23. The camera bump looks more like the Ultra version now, but the insides are the same as in the previous years. So nothing changed there much dramatically. And also, where's the innovation? Where's the innovation? They're putting a 200 megapixel sensor inside. Yeah, 16 to 1 pixel binning and 5 to, or 4 to 1 pixel binning for 50 megapixel high-res shot. But it's not at the technological forefront yet. It's a smallerish kind of sensor. Putting on a smallerish kind of sensor more megapixels, more pixels on, doesn't really help, does it? The pixel binning helps a bit, but it is like, oh, not at the technological forefront. It is not the one inch type sensor that everyone else is putting in. And not to destroy the Samsung sensor here, but it's typically not at the edge of the, of the, um, yeah, food chain. We had saw, we, we saw already the 200 megapixel sensor in Motorola devices and so on. It's the same kind of sensor, maybe slightly updated on the Samsung side, but it's not a te technological, yeah, it's not sitting at the top of the food chain. It is sitting one step below. It's the safe game that Samsung is playing here, which is understandable from a company's kind of perspective that they want to do this. But from the sales, I see a big, problem because I'm not sure if the consumers will buy it, really buy it in the sense going into the store, clicking on the website, paying much more money for something that looks like a last year's version. That's the big problem. This is the big disconnect that I can see. The tech world is like, oh, excited about the new Samsung Galaxy S23, but the consumers not so much because they don't see big revolutionary changes. They don't see big new revolutionary features that they like. It is basically, it's nothing new in the Galaxy S23 series. The only thing new there is like an improvement from last year, which is not even a huge improvement for certain people, 
especially when it comes to the S22 uh, and S22 Plus to the S23 and 23 Plus. Very interesting to see. Very interesting to see if those like two, three, three or four percent of improved camera performance, even on the S23 Ultra, will help the sales of the S23 Ultra. I'm pretty sure the sales will not be at the expected range that Samsung expects. So in this range, and we will also see the stock market on Samsung reflecting this. So the stocks of Samsung are not going up because of the S23 launch. And if you just in this tech bubble, you would say, oh, the sales must be great. It's a good device, solid device. The only thing is the price is a bit high, but the sales will be good. The stock market should go up. Nope. <laughs> this is not what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure the stock market will either stay the same or will go even down because not so many people will buy this new device, even with all this technology under the hood changes that are definitely a step forward in the right direction. We won't see big sale numbers on the S23. What is your opinion? Write it down in the comment section. Did I miss something very critical that you want to mention? Just write it down. Otherwise, that's everything for this video. Hope you like it and until the next time.